guys, I'm back for another video, and welcome to another tutorial. And in this one, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to have a live sub counter in your videos. As you can see underneath my head, right there, you can see my current subscriber count, which is 38,227. This thing is live. Every time someone subscribes to me, the number changes, and it is unchanging right now, so I can't really prove it, but it does. I have a lot of streams, and on those live streams, I get many subscribers, almost 100 at a time, and this counter goes crazy. So if you guys want to have that for your own streams, stick around. So the first step is to open your browser, of course. This is a web-based counter. It goes off of a website called livecounts.net. So if I were to go to this top bar here and paste in livecounts.net and then press enter, we will be brought to the main page, which is promoting his own YouTube channel, which is kind of funny. So what we do is we click on the name and then it says enter channel name, username, ID, or URL. So I'm going to enter my name, 30 virus. And as you can see, it shows my live subscriber count. This might not work for all of you. Just putting in your username depends how well known your channel is. So you might have to paste in the URL of your actual channel page. So for example, if I were to open that, as you can see, I'm on my channel page. I clicked on my channel and up here you get all these random letters and numbers. I can paste this in as well. So we paste that there. Okay. And we get the same exact thing. So either way, however you get it, what you got to do is take that URL. I'm going to use the simpler one. Let's copy that and then go into OBS. So I have it open right here. I'm actually recording with it. So you're going to see a weird tunneling effect. So just uh, I'll move that to the side so it's less in the way. So then we right click add browser source. Then we can call it uh, subscribers and then it will bring up of course it promotes itself by putting its own website there are a lot of cross promotion in this video anyway let's paste in the link we got from the website and then of course set the FPS to 60 I mean that's a no-brainer and then we press OK so as you can see in the top right hand corner we get that now of course it's not the nicest looking thing just sitting there advertising all this other stuff you just want the number so there's a few settings you got to change to fix that so let's do this on the fly real quick so we'll go to subscribers filters add and then we go to let's start out with cropping and then we'll just keep it the default name let's try to remember these numbers what was it like 200 there we go 200 200 right was 175 i believe and then bottom 275 perfect so those are the numbers we've cropped our number doesn't really matter if it's centered because then we can add our chroma key just name it chroma key so then we go in here and then we click on custom select color pick screen color boop okay and then the color goes away of course because we need to set the likeness to i set it to negative three before i guess one works too smoothness we can change as well i just leave it at the default i'm pretty sure something like that and then we get the color spill reduction which doesn't really do a heck of a lot we keep that the way it is and then we go to color correction not really high quality for videos to have anything that's like black text it doesn't really stick out too much so what you want to do is oh that gets rid of the edge and then the contrast we can set to almost nothing. Then as you can see, we have bright white text. And then the brightness will get rid of that edge even more. I kind of like this subscriber counter better than my old one, actually. Just from messing with these values, you can see slight differences. Hue shift and then opacity. Of course, you want that at 100. And then we press close. And as you can see, we have this number just floating around. We can put it wherever right underneath our face cam. So for example, if I wanted to put on my webcam, I could just go boop and hello. <laughs> then we can take our sub counter, put that right underneath. It's a little big. And of course it, there's some um, desktop icons in the way we can change the size like that. We can make it like if we're streaming like 
the sub counter for some big YouTube channel, you could do that. So that's it. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video and the series so far. And if you want to see any other OBS related tutorials, if you need a full OBS tutorial, then I will have that linked right here in the top right hand corner. Well, technically right here in the edge of the video. So yeah. Well, anyway, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.